So we say the first thing you need to do when locating an animal with radio telemetry data is, is orient your map north. This road is right along the magnetic north line and by orienting, orienting this along the magnetic north line now we have the map set for actually finding the animal. The second thing you do is you put in the waypoints or the spots at which you took your GPS reading and did your angles of telemetry cones. In this example we looked for the animal here that'll be our first spot. The second spot we looked for the animal from was over here and since we found in doing that that the animal was in this area we came back and we shot from this corner. This was a very easy example. Three points at which we shot our data from. So going to the first data point we put our compass over it and we look at our data and we find that our cone ended at 240 degrees. So we dial our compass into 240 degrees and we make a mark. The other side of the cone ended at almost directly south which would be about 180 degrees. We bring it into 180 degrees. That gives us the other direction from our shooting location. Then we take a straight edge and we bring our cone out. Considering the signal ended at each of those angles when we were in the field, we now have a locational cone that we can use from our first spot. Okay, in moving over to the second data point, we found that the first ending of the angle was about 130 degrees. At 130 degrees, we make our dot. The second ending of the angle was at about 210. So at 210, we make our dot with the center of the compass over the place at which we were taking our readings in the field. Again, come back, draw in our... So, now we know that the animal is somewhere in here, but we don't know how, how far it is away from, say, this road or these points because we haven't come on the other side of the animal. So, hoping that the animal's not going to be somewhere out in here, we have to come back here and put in our angles from the last data collection point. And in doing that, we come in and we found at this data collection point that the cone ended at 240 degrees. That brings us here. And the other side of the cone was at 175 degrees, which is right here. Okay. Now this is our last cone. That we draw in. Do we have another color we could use? Okay, so the next thing a person would need to do is measure the difference in these angles to find the bisecting point of the angle itself. And to do that, you can use your compass and you can dial it into zero and you can put it right on here and you can read the extent of the angle. This is a 60 degree angle. Okay, so that means that the bisector of that angle is 30 degrees. And bringing it in at 30 degrees, we put a dot in and we'll use a different color here to illustrate the bisector. In this case it's green. And we'll run this green line. So there's the bisector of that angle. The next angle to, to, to determine a bisector, we set our compass at zero. We come on one of the lines and we discover that this angle is 48 degrees. So we need to dial in to 24 right here at the bisecting point. There we have 24. We put our mark and we draw our line through the cone. Okay, the third angle, if we dial into zero and put it on our line, we find 
that that one is 70 degrees. So we have to bring it up to 35 right here. And at 35 degrees, keeping our zero point on our line right here, we have our bisector, which would be the center point of the radial telemetry cone. And we draw our line. That locates the animal using triangulation from three different spots, which we used our radial telemetry receiver to develop three different cones, bisecting all three angles. The animal we were looking for was right there.